Okay, let's get started. So this is October 5th, 23. Uh, please set yourself as to attendee. Okay, for uh, let's continue with um, the scraping tool upgrade updates. Yeah, so Leah, I saw this merge. So I forgot what this meant. We, um, now that this is done, I think, is it we can uh, close this one? Yes, we can. All right. All right. Good. Okay. So now, um, so what's next here? You've got. Um, so I've seeded the the data for one twenty seven. Uh, okay. This is the change um, we needed. Um, I ran this locally. I did not get a chance to push the update, but one more PR is incoming that will change this in uh, automation. And I believe I'll have to notify uh, the other PR where uh, automation was changed that we need this. So those two things are pending. Okay, so this one, now that we have the 127, we need the 127 directories here, right? So that was one of the things that we needed. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. okay. Now the other one is um, we needed, and this is maybe what you're talking about is we needed to migrate to the 127 jobs scraping from there. Correct. Did so that I, also need to change? Yeah, I've done that locally when I ran this tool, but okay. I need to, um, uh, make a couple of changes before I can push it. So that okay. PR ending. Yeah. All right. So do thing in uh... Okay, I think that's our next step. And then after that, I think um I think we have all the pieces, right? Because this was the automation. Yeah. And then we uh okay. Cool. All right. So we're really, really close here. All right. I'm going to merge this. Yeah. And I can walk you through the data from that PR uh, now. Okay. Sure. Okay. I will share my screen. Oh, I can't. There. Let's see if you can. Uh... Yeah. I should work now. Can you see my uh, yep. browser? Okay. Okay, so I have good news, some good news, and some. Let me just open up the older uh, data so we can compare. Okay, so this is 127 vm index.yaml. Uh, <clears throat> so looking at P50 and P95, uh, it seems like we are averaging around slightly under 15. And for P95, we are slightly under 20. It looks like this is a big improvement from what we had in 125. So, well, eh, it's not that much of an improvement. Um, even here, we are at 17 and this is above 25. So we have gone below 20 here. Uh, so the improvement I was talking about was on this one. It looks like this is still the same. Um, although what I see is we were scattered a lot between 15 to um, 15 to 25, but here it's all under 15, no scattering. Actually here also there is an improvement from 17 to 15, the average of um, two seconds and here an average of five seconds. So um, yeah, that's largely only because of the change in um, Kubernetes ver version. I don't think 
we changed anything with the test. The same thing is observed for VMI as well, uh, trending well below 15 and trending well below 20 here. Uh, let's see, for VMI, we were at 18, 19, trending at 18, and then we are trending at 30, 27. Yeah, close to 27 here. So improvements there as well. So that's the good news. Uh, the bad news is that the patch VMI and the patch pod count um, from our last experimentation, we had a solid grouping on these, uh, on these as well, where it was a, a very nice correlation, 100, 200, like that. We've somehow lost that. Mm -hmm correlation in 27. Uh, so apart from the apart from the P50 and P95, I don't think other graphs are strongly correlated uh, like we had previously. So that's something we'll have to dig into as to why we've lost the, the correlation here. Yeah, and the same thing is for uh, for VMs as well. Some of these are really making the plot spread out a lot. And what I noticed is, oh, okay. So these, right? So this should not be to create VMIs for VM. So this should be very close to 100. Like we should not be getting these observations unless, so the zeros are the ones that have failed. So that might make sense. But 17 and 20, 14, really doesn't make sense for this graph. So we've deteriorated our signal somewhat in all the other things. Even the create portal. Hmm. I feel like on some of those, like, I wonder, is like those zeros and the, yeah, I wonder if there's a way we can sort of like, some point just take out the data we know is bad because like even in those ones where it's zero it's like i i don't i wonder what else that shows up on some of the other graphs or so what like or even some of the ones that's less than 100 right which is totally unexpected how does that appear how does that affect other graphs hmm. yeah. anyway that's just a thought i mean it's fine we understand we know what to expect it's, it should be 100 like those are the real data points the other ones are kind of nonsense. Yeah. So. Yeah, see the ones where we see this, the same line, it's this, right? Yeah. Right, because it like might try to do something and it just doesn't. It, fails to do it and then we end up scraping the data anyway and yeah so what would be a good filter you think uh create vmi and uh create pods would be a good filter see the the reason why i don't want to filter it out is if something actually is going wrong and we have filtered the data out then we will not uh you know see it so for well, example, the weird ones like zero, like why, what do we like with zero? Like, I know, how can we even, how does this even pass with zero or is it not zero? I don't understand that. Uh, let's take a look. So this is October 4th. Okay. Uh, Uh, 
Uh, do you have the link to to the periodic jobs? Should yeah, you go. I'm checking. Yeah, it's up there. Yeah, there you go. I wonder why cursor's over the current performance periodic. And we're looking at this one. Okay, so what was it October 4th, right? October 4th. That could be the failed one there. So this is for today. Yeah, so we had a failed. So this should not at all be represented in the data. I don't think this is. It's not the failed one. Yeah, I don't see any data in the failed one. I'm looking to. I'm looking to... Let's see. Yeah, no, that. I... So I looked at all three of them. The the only one that they all the other two of a hundred, the other two on ten four of a hundred, create VMIs. It's only that there is there is no zero. Oh, so this one right. Yeah, this is a hundred here, and yep. and we are so this one seems to be hundred, but we might be getting one. Okay, so this is something wrong with the scraping tool. Yeah, maybe we when we when we don't find something, we just put zero. Uh, Would that be possible. Let me see. So we merged this. Uh, weekly. Oh, so, so this one, yeah, see. Okay, yeah, I'll take a look at what's happening here. Maybe this is it then. We have not lost signal. We've just, uh, just processed it incorrectly. Oh, you think, so you think it, it, we didn't, I don't, I don't understand what you mean. You think we have data, we just, we just think it's zero? 
the for the ones so the the zeros they don't they don't seem to be reflected here right yeah right uh huh. so how do, we, how do we get a zero then <laughs> yeah and let me see here create two. oh this one is zero so create virtual oh. Oh, this is migration. Sorry, I'm looking at oh. one. Yeah, this one. It should be valid. Oops. Oh, this is something else. Okay, so. Is this right? That's view my account? Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, see, this is not present. The metric is not present here. Which, wait, sorry, go back. Which is the one you're trying to scrape that's not present? Uh, so you're finding, so what you're doing is you're, you're getting valid, the job passes, but we're, but the, 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 this, the um, reporting tool isn't finding the, the no, thing so we're correct. looking for. Correct. Yes. So I'm looking for create virtual machines. Well, Okay. Virtual machine count. It's right here. Oh. Virtual Sorry. Machine I thought this was migrations, but it's virtual uh -huh. instances. Yeah. So it's here. But so we must have missed it then. So like either the scraping tool, not the scraping tool, the um the thing that's scraping the metrics. It's like the thing that's scraping the metrics is um it must be missing the connect the yeah. metric. Yeah. And so we, we have two bugs here. We're missing the metric. The timing is off somewhere. But then we're reporting zero when we probably shouldn't be. I don't think yeah. zero is not correct here. We we just it's unknown. It should be nothing. Yep. Okay, interesting. Yeah, I think this is the zero should go after. It's October 4th. And okay. Oh, it's interesting. See, only October 4th. Well, there are others as well. Okay, I'll take a look at this, what's going on. Maybe we had a bad scrape or something like that. Uh -oh. Okay. Yeah, I think, I think if we don't find it, like, I think we'll skip it. I bet that I'm. That's what this looks like. Like we're adding data that's that we expect to find, and then we're adding a nil value when we should probably just not have it, not include it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Then I. <clears throat> I let's see. I'm not sure what to do about the scraping though, because I've seen this before. Sometimes where we see things appear. And and sometimes we don't see them appear just based on I think it's just based on timing, like maybe the API server just hasn't reported the metric, we missed the Prometheus scrape or something. So sorry, what I was saying is you are saying if the metric doesn't appear here in this file. Yeah, I I think it's timing related. Like we may, it may not have been scraped by Prometheus, and so. We're looking to ask for this from Prometheus, and so we don't find it. Got it. Yeah, I think the data, so the jobs that we have looked, the data is there, right? I, so I don't, hmm. yeah, see, I don't see any zeros except for the, yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that it makes no sense. Like why we, there's no way if we had, there's no way like it, it, well, what, what you, we've talked about so far makes sense because there's no way like with, we're creating VMs that we, it should ever be zero. Like we clearly have created pods, right? Like it's created them. It's just that for some reason we have not, when we do our, from that, um, when we scrape Prometheus, we just don't find that the, the create VM requests. We just don't mm -hmm. find that metric reported. So it's it's <clears throat> it means that it's it came and went, or that it just hasn't been scraped yet. It's one of the two. I don't like we definitely created the right 
things. This is a VM job, right? So yeah, VM for fun. So it's definitely, we're creating them. It's just not there. I, we've seen this before, LA. Like this is sometimes like if you were to compare across all results, you see some metrics come in and out, like the list, these lists sometimes appear, sometimes they don't. And mm -hmm. it's just, just happens. It's just based on timing and other things. Okay. All right. Got it. So, so the two bugs is we need to figure out why we have incorrect data. So maybe a bad scrape. And then the second, yeah. if the thing doesn't show up, then just don't default to zero. Just remove it from a list of observations. Yeah. Okay. Let me put this in the notes. Okay. Um, I think that's all I had. I'm going to give you the screen back. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll change the language on this. I'm, I know they're not missing. I'll just make this fix it later. And then the other ones, the um, we've got um, uh, reporting. Okay, that should make our data look even nicer. Okay. Cool. Okay, that's all. All right, that's all good. That's really cool to see about 127. Now we noticed a improvement. That's interesting. I don't know what to say about that. I mean, maybe they can Kubernetes has done some things that around pod yeah. performance or something. Um, I don't know. I had a question regarding that. What uh, version is the density cluster running at? Oh, um, probably like. 125 or sooner. I don't know if uh, that's been updated. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering that same thing. Yeah, because the density cluster is definitely on the older uh, P95s and P50s. Okay. So it's taking in the order of 50 minutes. Uh, sorry, 50 seconds. Okay. Let me ask Brian then, because I we should update this. If for everything else is going one twenty seven, we need this to one twenty seven. Okay. <clears throat> All right, I'll take that. Yeah, I'll talk to Brian and see if we can get that sorted out. Okay. All right, thanks, Elaine. I think that's, that's some good updates. Okay. Uh, what else do we have for topics for today? Uh, it's on the chat. Is uh, Andre, are you still here? I thought you said you had a question. Yes, <laughs> yes we have re 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 revisit uh, several things and we didn't find uh, an answer uh, from Kubernetes uh, team. Perhaps you can help me again. Uh, remember that we are not using so uh, Rook and Ceph because they don't have the duplication and they uh, are not able to mount a RAM as a drive. And we are using a solution called Lean Store instead. Uh, let me put it on the chat for you have it, okay? The, the missing part that I would like to ask, uh, who I can talk to to know an update about uh, the integration of Rook and Ceph and Kubernetes. And second, uh, can we do the same solution we are using on Lean Store that is uh, uh, called on VMware Instant Cloud, that is the technical name is copy on write. Because this so is what we need <laughs> for you to understand. Yeah, so there is, um, uh, there, I know there was work to do cloning or cloning support in Kubert. I forget where it is. I know I saw the, I came across the um, the design for it. I don't, I don't recall if it's been completed or not. Um, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if you're aware. But there's, um, I, there might be. I I just I, I'm not caught up on what 
components that merged. Yeah, how to, to put the pieces, you understand, together. Here, just take a quick look at the see. I mean, I, I know there was cloning in here at some point. You understand my pain, no, Ryan. <laughs> yeah. Um. So here's like, yeah. So there's a clinic guy, yeah. Ben Hubert. So is this what you're looking for? Uh, we 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 are using the clone, but the clone things takes too much time. We need to have very quickly, less than one second, to clone like hundreds VMs. And this well, uh, is copy on write possible only, okay? Well, then that's probably, I mean, then it's going to need to be something on the storage on the back end. I, I don't know what, so you're using some sort of solution. I, it's, yeah, it's going to be outside of Kubert. We are using, uh, instead of, of Rook and SAP behind the scenes, we are using Lean Store. And Lean Store has this capability. Uh, Rook and SAP doesn't have. First, okay. the duplication, and second, the copy on write. Okay, so you have so what's so does the solution work for you? Is it like what's yeah, what it works for me, for? but this paid version, not open source. Okay, I don't, I don't know. Like, so you're looking for an open source version? I don't know. I, I don't plan know. I mean, to not... pure Kubernetes, and pure Kubernetes doesn't fill all my gaps. <laughs> That's my my pain. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I understand. I I don't know. Um, I'm not sure. Like, um, I feel like there's been there's open source solutions for something like this out there. I just don't know what it would be. I'm not familiar with all the different projects the, in the storage space. The, the Rook and Seth uh have the duplication and copy and write, but they are on alpha stage. That's that's the point. You understand? Yeah, they are not ready to be used. <laughs> okay. Well, so maybe they need some. I mean, maybe they'll need some contributions to get them to. Yeah, you know, who, who can who can we talk to to hire and make it happen? <laughs> that's the missing part. Yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, I would go into the their community and ask. Like to see what I already is asked. There is there was no answer. If you can help me, for you understand, I asked the community of Kubernetes. I asked the community of Kubvert, uh, who I can talk to inside Kubernetes about that. Um, I'm not sure. Like, cause I like that's a, you did exactly what I would do. Is I'd go to Rook Seth community. Mm -hmm. I would just keep trying. I'm not sure like what, if they're the ones, like they're the maintainers, they should be able to, uh, they'd hopefully be able to answer some questions about this. Cause I, I don't know. I mean, I personally, I don't know. That's, I would do okay. the exact same thing you do. So um, I, I had some more thoughts as well. Uh, there is a working group, data protection working group uh, that is working on uh, some more, evolution of APIs like volume snapshots. Uh, so the clone and snapshot. It's like, it's like this, correct, Ally. Yeah. So you might be able to go talk to the the folks. I, I think they meet regularly. Um, the meeting invite is there. Can and I have this link or put it, on the chat? Yeah, it's in the chat. Great, then I have it. Thank you so much. Sure. I think that's it. Thank you, Alai. <laughs> if I succeed, I, <laughs> I I inform you here also, okay? <laughs> okay. Okay, all right, thanks, Andre. All right, is there anything else that you guys had? Any other topics?
let me ask you just one thing. Uh, you measure IOPS uh, inside the VM? Uh, we have, so I don't know if there's any metrics right now about IOPS in the VM. Because I think there's been like a whole, there's been like a whole push around doing this at some point. I think there's like, it's been one of the things that's been missing. Because we are having very good results but we measure in an application running in, inside the VM, not in Subvert. Yeah. Yeah, that, I, I think there. this has been something we've sort of had around for a while when we wanted to get a bunch of monitoring into the Hurt Launcher. I think one of the challenges was getting those metrics out. But we, yeah, we haven't looked at it at least recently. Well, it's good you're getting good results, though. I mean, that's that's important. Maybe we can get to this at some point. We have it on our radar, at least in our, and it's in one of our our issues that we track up here. Okay. Can you keep All right, the, what else on on, on yeah. the radar? Yeah, we do. It's still so lately. Like we, a lot of our push has been to automate our existing metrics across releases we like that's what lay was talking about that's what this is so that's like all the data because now we have v1 we're going to measure to v11 and so once we have that capability then we can return to adding more metrics and then it should just appear in all of our our measuring dashboards so so right now we're just focused on like the um a lot of our reporting but yeah it is on our radar it's something that we at some point we'll get to Thank you. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, Under. Anything else? Any other topics? Sounds like sounds like no. Okay. All right. We'll end early then. Thank you, everybody. Have a good day.